Hello and welcome. A new case in binomial distribution, and this time we are going to cover a very strange case. I am telling it very strange because very strange terms have been used in the question by the paper setter who very first time thought about this problem. I am covering this problem because I have seen this problem asked in many question papers from graduation to professional examinations. I personally believe that including myself, any paper setter should not use these type of strange or ambiguous terms in the question. But he or she had used, that's why I am commenting by using these type of words. The problem is, how many dice must be thrown so that there is a better than even chance of obtaining a 6? Better than even chance. The term is not at all statistics. To solve the problem, first of all, we have to take the statistical interpretation of this term. Even means equal. In case of probability, equal means 0.5.5. This should be the interpretation. So, better than even chance. Chance means probability. Even means half. Better means greater than. So, the interpretation is the probability is greater than half or 0.5. Of obtaining a 6, to solve this problem, a 6 means not only one, exact one, 6. No, it should be taken as at least one. So, the interpretation of this line a better than even chance of obtaining a 6 means the probability of obtaining at least one 6 is greater than half. If any student can think this interpretation of the group of these words, then only he or she can solve this problem in its correct way. Whatever the case may be. We have to solve it. Let's solve. So the interpretation is better than even chance means probability greater than half. R6 means at least one six. So the interpretation is probability of at least one six is greater than half. Now, why should we solve this problem by binomial distribution? How many dice? That means small n number of trials are finite, fixed or countable. Probability of obtaining a six remains constant in all the dice. Probability of not getting 6 remains constant on all the dice. All the dice are independent of each other. So, the case satisfies all the conditions of binomial distribution. That's why we are going to use binomial distribution to solve this problem. <coughs> now we know that probability of at least 1 means probability of at least 1 equals to p of r greater than or equal to 1 that is 1 minus p of 0 or p of none so 1 minus p of 0 is greater than 1 by 2 that is the interpretation therefore 1 minus half is greater than sorry is greater than p of 0 Now read it from right to left. We can say that P of 0 is less than half. Or P of 0 is less than 0.5, whatever the thing is. Now this is a case of a cubical die. N is missing. In case of cubical die, probability of getting 6 is 1 by 6 and probability of not getting 6 is 5 by 6. Here R is 0. So now what is going to happen if we use formula of binomial distribution P of R success is, is NCR into P raised to R into Q raised to N minus R. Let us substitute P of 0 is less than half. Therefore, NC0 into 1 by 6 raised to 0. 
into 5 by 6 raised to n minus 0 n is less than half. Now n c 0 is 1, anything raised to 0 is 1. 1 by 6 raised to n is less than half. Now let us convert these two into decimal values. Point this is 5 by 6. 8333 raised to n is less than 0.5. Now let us examine for which value or values of n this equation is correct. Again we are going to use trial and error method. As we know n can never take value 0 or less. That means lowest possible value of n is 1. 0.8333 raised to 1 is 0.8333. If n takes value 2, 0.8333 raised to 2 will be 0.6944. I already written the values. 3. If n takes value 3, the value of this will be 0.586. See, the value decreases. If n takes value 4, it will take value 0.4821. If n takes value 5, it takes 4.4018. If it takes value, n takes value 6, it will be 0.3348. These are the proofs that if n takes value 4 or more, this equation is correct. For all values of n, 4 or more, 0.8333 raised to n is less than 0.5. So we can say that 4 or more dice must be thrown. The answer is, thus, n is greater than or equal to 4. 4 or more, n greater than or equal to dice must be thrown. That's it. Thank you.